let's talk about subtraction our second operation of integers in elementary you have learned that uh, subtraction is the reverse operation of addition For example, you have learned 1 plus 5 equals 6. And in subtraction, you have 6 minus 1 equals 5. But before you learn to get the difference, your teacher taught you how to get it by saying what number must be added to 1 in order to get 6. What number must be added to 1 in order to get 6? And you say it is 5. How are we going to illustrate this in the number line? Let's do it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Let's go back here. We say what number must be added to 1 in order to get 6. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. So there are five units from one to six. The answer here is positive five since it is going to the right. Another example. We have five minus two. What number must be added to two in order to get five? So you have one, two, and three. So the answer here is three. How about this one? Six minus negative 1 what number must be added to negative 1 in order to get 6 let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 7 units from negative 1 to 6 there are 7 units therefore the answer is 7 since our movement is from left to right it is positive Another example, we have 5 minus negative 2. And uh, let's uh, get this negative 2. How are we going to get to positive 5? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 units from negative 2 up to positive 5. Since it is going to the right, that is positive 7. Let's have uh, another example. We have negative 1 minus negative 3. What number must be added to negative 3 in order to get negative 1? So you have here, and there are two units to the right. Therefore, our answer is positive 2 another negative 4 minus negative 2 so what number must be added to negative 2 in order to get negative 4 1 2 and that is going to the left it is negative 2 this method of subtracting using the number line is very easy for those one digit numbers we can also have subtraction of uh, two digit numbers but uh, it will require you to have a very long number line we also have another definition of subtraction which is defined as addition of the negative of the number a while ago, we have this example, 6 minus 1, and that is equal to 5. And 5 minus 2 equals 3. But in the addition of uh, positive and negative numbers, we have 6 plus negative 1, it is equal to 5. And also, 5 plus negative 2, it is equal to 3. So, therefore here, in example 1, we have 6 minus 1 
is equal to 6 plus negative 1. Also here, 5 minus 2 is equal to 5 plus negative 2. So, out of these two examples that we have, we can make a conclusion. Any number A subtracted by another number B, it is the same as A plus the negative of B. And another also, in our example a while ago, we have 6 minus negative 1, and this is equal to 7. And we have also... 5 minus negative 2 and it is equal to 7. Here, we can rewrite this also based on our previous knowledge of the addition of integers. We have 6 plus 1 that is 7. And we also have 5 plus 2 equals 7. So, Based on this example, we can make this equivalence of the two. We have 6 minus negative 1 is equal to 6 plus 1. And 5 minus negative 2 is equal to 5 plus 2. So we can make a conclusion here. Any number A subtracted by Another negative number B, it is equal to a number A plus a number B. So this will be our rule in subtracting two numbers. Let's have examples. And let us answer this, 28 minus 52, we have 28 plus negative 52. We have numbers that are of different signs, so we have to get the difference. The absolute value of 52, negative 52 is uh, 52 minus 28, so we have 20 but this one is far from zero so we have to get right here negative 24 and then we have 36 minus 64 we have to rewrite this way 36 plus negative 64 this one is farther from zero so we have to write negative 64 minus 36 that is 28 so our final answer is negative 28 Next, we have negative 92 plus the negative of 50 is negative 50. And these two numbers are both negative. So we have negative 142. Let's uh, answer this. We have 84 minus negative 5 by following this rule. We can have 84 plus the opposite of this, 5. And the answer is 89. Next number, we have negative 64 minus negative 8. So write negative 64. And then plus the opposite of this is 8. These two numbers now have different signs, so we have to subtract. 64 minus 8 is 56. But 
64 is farther from 0, so we have negative 56. And next is negative 20 minus negative 30, so we have negative 20 plus the opposite of this is 30. And we have negative 20 plus 30, they don't have the same sign. We have to get the difference between 30 and 20, and that is 10, which is farther from 0, positive 30. So therefore, our final answer is positive 10. That is how to use this rule and this one. Good luck.